Hey guys, it's Brittany with It's All About Jesus. And I'm going to turn the phone this way. Good to see you guys. I am out here walking my son um, in beautiful Florida. Really hot, but uh, it's a beautiful day. Just got off work, had a beautiful day at work. Um, I kind of just wanted to come on here and talk about something that I think that's really not talked about, one of the signs um, that the Lord says will happen before he comes back and before the end of the world. And that is, it's, I'm going to kind of paraphrase because I don't have my Bible right in front of me at the moment, but it's in Matthew, I think it's 24, 14. It says that the gospel will be preached to the whole world to all nations this gospel of Jesus that he died rose again for our sins and once it's preached and everybody on in the world every nation once that is fulfilled it says then the end will come so not a lot of people talk about that sign <laughs> There's a lot of other signs going on in the world, but I just thought that was very interesting that that's one of them that he says, then the end will come when this gospel, the good news of your salvation, that Jesus died and spilled his precious blood for your sins. Whoever believes that is saved and the end will come after every nation has heard of it. So... I think that's pretty interesting because of the technology today. Man, I mean, I would think everybody would have to have heard the gospel by now with the technology we have. Yeah. You can reach anybody, anywhere. Like, my dad, he talks to his brother in Oregon like they're sitting right next to each other on the other side of the world, you know? Or, well, on the other side of the United States. But yeah, you can talk to anybody in different countries and they can hear the, the gospel, the good news. So I really think that's one of the signs that we can tell we are living in the last days. Um, of course, you see all these crazy things happening and how the world is just so wicked. And you can just tell <laughs> the Lord is coming. I mean, when you're a believer, but I just don't think that one gets talked about that much. So... I figured I'd bring it up, I'm trying to get out here and get some exercise, keeping, you know, trying to lose a couple pounds, keep my body in shape here. But yeah, and also I was gonna share something. My dad had a dream actually about the rapture. <laughs> um, he had a kind of a short dream. He, we were all out there, him his family, all of us, and it was the Feast of Trumpets. <laughs> we were all waiting for Jesus to come on that day, and he didn't, he said in the dream he didn't come, but I mean, I don't know if, what that's supposed to mean. Whoops, one second. You know, we don't know if that's Jesus saying, well, he's not going to come on the Feast of Trumpets, or he could come any day he wants. He can come on the Feast of Trumpets this year, he can come, he can come next year, he can come whenever he wants to come. He, he'll come. But just that, the reason why I wanted to share that is because of all the people having rapture dreams. That's another sign. Acts, um, it's in the book of Acts. I don't want to quote it because I don't have my Bible in front of me. I really need to start memorizing scriptures more. Um, I've been saved for 10 years, you know. I should probably know a lot more than I do. But God is good and he understands so, but yeah, it says in Acts that in the last days, we'll, we'll have dreams, we'll prophesy, we'll have visions. And that just shows, I mean, so many people are having dreams of the rapture. And that just shows, I think it's 217, Acts 217. But yeah, it's just amazing. God is so good. He is so good. And... He sends us all these dreams. It's just not a coincidence. It can't be a coincidence, guys. Um, everything is just aligning together. 
on. But it's so exciting because if you're saved, if you have that spirit of God living in you, it is so exciting. And yes, of course, we are drawn. It could, there's really tough situations right now. Like, I'm not going to say that I'm not be, being squeezed. <laughs> um, that watchman, what's his name? Oh, River. He says we're being squeezed right now. I don't know if you guys have ever seen him. He's a, he's a really good Christian brother. Watchman River Channel, I think his name is. Yeah, really down to earth guy. He's pretty cool to watch. I just started watching him lately. Um, but yeah, so man, we're getting close, but the real world, we're all being, I don't know. It's just things are happening and, and life just isn't the greatest it could ever be because we're in this world with all this wickedness and it's hard for believers. It's hard for us to see all this sin, even our own bodies dealing with our own sin. We're just like, ugh, we want to get out of here. I don't want to be in this body of death anymore. <laughs> but it just shows, man. We're we're getting so close, guys. It's it's exciting and it's um, just crazy. And just, there's so many things to say about it. But um, yeah. So if you are going through a hard time right now, because a lot of us are being squeezed or being, you know. Just because we are Christians and he talks about Christians will be persecuted and it will be worse and worse before he comes. So um, if you are one of those Christians that are being really persecuted right now and just going through a really, really hard time or really tough tribulation or because we have our own little tribulations on on earth, you know, that we go through. Not the great tribulation. That is the Lord's wrath. And he says that we are not appointed to wrath. So we're not going to go through his punishment because we are covered in the blood of his son. He sent him for us. But we will have little, you know, trials and tribulations on earth. But so, yeah, if you're going through something like that right now, just think about, wow, the Lord will. He says with a shout of an archangel, with a trumpet of God. Boom, quick, twinkling in an eye. We'll just be, whoop, caught right up. Right up with them. <laughs> and that day is approaching us, guys. It is coming, and I can't wait. It is so exciting. Anyways, I just wanted to come on here and drop a little encouragement. Um, I really want to start doing some more videos for the Lord, you know. As long as it's Holy Spirit led. That's all I care about. I want people to get saved. I want souls to be saved. Um, if you don't know the Lord Jesus, you've got to get to know him. He loves you. He died for you. He died for you because you're a sinner. We all are sinners. We all are stinking sinners. <laughs> we've all done something. We've all told a lie. I'm sure a lot of people have stole, um, got drunk, fornicated. There's so many things. Everybody has sinned and we all fall short. And thank God he made a plan out. He made a plan for us that we don't have to go to hell. We don't have to. He paid for our sins. He paid for those. All you have to do is believe in him. Believe in Jesus' name. Believe that he died for you. And that he took away your sin. As far as the east from the west. And you will be saved. He rose again on the third day. Your sins are washed away as soon as you believe that. You will get the Holy Spirit of promise. And he'll never leave you. And either you're going to die on this earth and go to be with him in heaven. Or you will go up in the rapture when he catches up his church. So, please, if you are not saved, it is getting close. You don't have a lot of time and you don't want to be on this earth. It's just going to get so bad. This is nothing compared to what the tribulation will be like. So, get saved if you're not I love you guys. Have a beautiful day. Keep looking up. Our redemption draws nigh. I love you all. Bye-bye.